Another hunt in the woods for mushrooms, and right behind me, we have chicken of the woods. Now, I've seen a lot of specimens out today, but they're all past their prime. But this one is perfect, so we will harvest this, and we will clean this up and cook it up for dinner tonight. Let's do this. Here's our mushrooms of the Upper Midwest guidebook. And here we have chicken of the woods. There's the upside and the downside. You can see the yellow underneath. It's also called sulfur shelf. Found in association with live, dead, or dying trees. It favors dead oak trees, but they are found in other trees, usually dead. This is one of the most choice edibles. Not to be confused with the jack-o'-lantern mushroom. I'll show you that here. The jack-o'-lantern is also bright orange and yellow, but it's individual mushrooms with individual stems in clumps. So you can see that the chicken of the woods is one main shelf conglomeration. Chicken of the woods has a meaty texture and <laughs> tastes like chicken. So we'll cook that up and see. All right, so this is your classic chicken of the woods, AKA sulfur shelf. And I'll show you the underneath side of that. It is so bright and it is nice and smooth. So I'm gonna take a couple photos of this and then we'll cut that off and then we'll take a closer look at that. Put my knife case there. You're gonna wanna use a nice fillet knife here. And you know, you could do this in one of a couple ways. You could rip the whole thing off or you could just take like the soft meaty part and cut that off. Now, since we're doing a video here, um, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. It's called sulfur shelf because it looks like sulfur yellow on the bottom and it's a polypore mushroom. So that's about what it looks like. So when you cut these pieces off, you're gonna wanna take your knife and cut off just this outer edge here because that's the softer stuff and it's more edible. When it gets closer towards the base, it gets a little tougher. Now this is a very young chicken of the woods, so the whole thing is nice and, um, kind of meaty and you know so like it's really um pleasing the whole way down there's something really cool I want to show you right behind me is a deer that is probably on its way over here to eat this but I beat him to the punch I'll just swing that right around This one is mine. Here is what I pulled off of this dead log. Since it's young and it's fresh, I just figured I'd pull the whole thing off and we'll go home and clean it up on the cutting board. And here is the mycelium that is still stuck to the log. So that should grow back again next year. All right, I'm back home now and I've got my chicken of the woods all in the sink here. It's kind of all dirty. Look at this one, there's a stick growing. The mushroom grew right around the stick. So I'm going to clean this off real quick and I'm going to cut it off. Just going to take my knife and cut them off just like this. Cut like some nice chicken cutlets off of all these mushrooms here. So here's one mushroom like cut off right there. And then I cut it just around here and I'll discard this. It's usually the tougher part. And then this here is the part that we're going to cook up and eat. Okay, now we have our chicken of the woods all cut up into nice bite-sized pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and dip it in egg and then breadcrumbs and then I'm gonna put it on oil. We're just gonna fry them like that. A couple minutes on each side till they're nice and golden brown, kinda like chicken nuggets. Also kind of like a catch and cook with fish. Yes. And then I'm going to give it a little pinch of pepper. And a little pinch of salt. Alright, now it's time to flip some of these. They're nice and golden brown. Oh, that looks really bad. 
looks like nice walleye. Yeah, sort of. Or, or panfish, like when we go fishing in the summer. Yeah. Turn it down to, it was on like medium to medium high to get that heated up. Now I'm gonna put it just below medium. Give it a little sprinkle of pepper on this side, and a little sprinkle of salt. Okay, that's looking good. We'll take the first batch off and put it on paper towel. See, that looks a lot like fish. Okay. Alright, the second batch is going, and Samuel gets the first taste test. This is delicious. What does it taste like? Does it taste like fried chicken? Kind of, a little bit. And Franklin's turn for a taste test. Yep. Chicken of the woods mushroom. Mm. Fried chicken style. What do you think? What's it taste like? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It also tastes like yumminess. Awesome. Oh. Samuel's going for seconds. My turn. Mm. Okay, this tastes like a combination between fried chicken and fried um, zucchini. My mom and dad used to fry up zucchini like this when I was a kid. It's so good. You have to try this. I'm going to try one with a little dab of sour cream. It's really good. Yeah. You probably use any dipping sauce, just like you're eating fried chicken, but I have a little sour cream on mine. Mmm. This is one of my top five favorite mushrooms, Chicken of the Woods. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out. Froggy.